Hello YouTubers, this is EAS3964 back with another EOS tutorial, this time featuring the uh, time of arrival and lead time tool. Um, for this one, you want to go into tools, and for this one you'll get two markers. And I'm going to, again, change this into cyan this time, because that's going to be easiest to see against the storm. This time you're going to get two markers. You're going to get drag me to feature, same as the one on more in general. You're also going to get um, this one, which is drag me to the point of arrival. So we've got this storm that is moving through southwest or southeast New Mexico and into Texas. Now it's moving slightly southeast, so we want to see how long it's going to take for it to get into. Let me load the county names here because I'm an idiot and forgot to do that. Once this thing decides to stop being slow. There we go. Counter names. Alright, so let's say this storm is going to move south, slightly southeast into what is it, Andrews County. Show map legends, county names, and. There we go. So this one's going into Andrews County, might cross, might go into, looks like, Ector County. So, what we're going to do is first drag me to this, drag me to the feature on the storm, so that we're going to put this hail core as the feature that we want, wait for it to unlock. Little tip, don't run AWIPS on really slow systems. Alright, now we're going to get a storm motion vector, so move this back about six frames, and we'll do this. So this one's actually going to make it into Winkler County. So, move this back to the final frame by hitting Control, right arrow key, and you're going to get this little guy up here, which says unrealistic point of arrival if it's so if it's really far outside the storm motion vector. I'm going to go ahead and put this in circular front. So this tells you what's actually considered a, a, an acceptable point of arrival is within this cone. So we're going to move this. We're going to move this over to say Jow. And it won't. Yeah, oh, well, it's locked up again. There we go. So this one is over gel, and it looks like it's going to impact gel at about 7:53 Mountain Daylight Time. So this is about an hour and 11 minutes from now for a 22 mile. Uh, it's going to be 22 miles. So this is actually a pretty slow move of the storm. If you want the point, the storm motion vector, I believe you can just go into point mode. Um, however, it may not let me. I may have to actually find a storm motion vector from distant speed to do it. Yeah, this one only gives me um, this one only only give me the times. So go back to circular front. This one's easiest for me to use. You can use point. I'll show you how to use polyline here in a few minutes. So now that we've got that. This is where you want to see where it's going to hit. This is what gives you the storm motion vector. So now it's going to polyline mode because this is the actual line. So, again, hit control right to make sure I'm on the final frame, and let's put this here, at the leading edge of the storm. Again, this is going to be a lot easier if you actually have a real storm that you're dealing with. And then shape the, shape the polyline. And then let that shape itself. You hit the um, your scroll wheel if you want to add add a vertice. I'm going to close out Google Chrome next time I do one of these. So that's adding one. Bring this up here and bring this here. So we're shaping the polyline and then what we're going to do after this once it loads, maybe, come on, yeah. everyone got any jokes? <laughs> Uh, 
Alright, so now that we've got this, we're going to back the radar up a few frames, and it looks like it's pretty much following the radar. So, we're going to move this over, let's put this over Nautries in uh, Ector County. And it'll do that, it's saying it's going to be an hour, hour and 32 minutes before the storm makes it over Nautries, um, but it's on this line. Uh, anything beyond this line, so let's say um, Andrews. Andrews is not going to be on that line, so it's an unrealistic point of arrival. Um, you can move this stuff over here. Unrealistic point, unrealistic point, unrealistic point. You have to move it onto or near the uh, storm motion vector for it to get anything. So that's how you use uh, time of arrival and lead time. And the next one is going to be a surprise because I'm actually just now just learning the system myself. So until next time, keep an eye to the sky.